that was some exciting music to lead us in, wasn't it? Yeah, wow. man. Dude. Um, Marine King, what's the deal? He's not winning any games. He's winning one game <laughs> on a map that really favored his style that he's been trying, trying to play. But other than that, Ganji's just been all over him. And Marine King hasn't been playing bad, you know? No. It's just Ganji's been playing better. Um, he's just basically outplayed him almost every game. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and um, something I think that isn't entirely the reason but may have something to do with it is uh, we've seen that Ganji has taken control of the air every single game and yes. then he's used that yeah. to his advantage. Having a bunch of Vikings doesn't do any good unless you use that either by gaining vision for your tanks or by gaining protection for your banshees, etc. So, uh, but that's what Ganji's been doing every time. In the one game that Marine King did take control of the air, he ended up winning, although that was a crazy game anyway. It's Let's go ahead true. and get into the next game though. Here we are on lovely GSL Belshire Beach, our Red Terran player. If he wins this game, he is the Code champion from the Team Slayers. He's looking unstoppable, he is known as Slayers Gunji. There we go. And that must be his notebook that tells him how to beat Marine King. It's worked pretty well so far. And over on the left side of the map is our other Terran player from the team, Prime Dot. We he needs to win this game to stay alive in this best of seven mole trap. He is Marine King Prime Wee. Yeah, man. Earlier you were like, well, he needs to win this game. Well, I guess he doesn't need to. Now he but does. Now he yeah. really, really needs to. He actually needs to win this game. Yeah, he there's actually like no needs to win anymore. all the games now from now on. Otherwise, yes. he's going to be oh, the loser. That is sparkly. He jumped through the Marine King. That is cool. Oh. I want my name on all those things. Thanks to Pepsi and G-Skill for sponsoring GSL Code A. That's right. It's been a very uh, entertaining series so far, I would say. Definitely a kind of a showcase of Ganji's skills. Yeah, man, he has been impressing me a lot this series. Me too. Yeah, I mean, I, I've always kind of thought, well, you know, if somebody asked me about Slayer's Ganja, I was like, well, he's a good Terran. He's, he's got some solid results. He's a good player. But after today, after really watching yeah. these matches, it's like, wow, I, he's actually yeah, becoming no, one of actually, my favorite Terrans to watch. No, you're right, man. I, I feel the same way. Like, a few days ago, or maybe, I guess, maybe a, a, a week or two ago, uh -huh. before his... I would have said, like, oh, Ganji, he's, like, solid. Well, you were but predicting him to lose last week. I was predicting him to lose yeah. last week, man. Uh, but I've really been impressed by him this series. You know, I I still, I'm, I'm hard to please as, as a, are hard as to a please. fan. Hard to impress. So I last week I still wasn't completely impressed, everything. but... What's that? <laughs> I didn't hear you. It's complaining about how hard to shop for you it is. <laughs> That's right, man. It's like I get you a nice tie, and you already have that tie. You get me good control, and I'm like... No, I wanted multitasking and control. It's just impossible. Yeah. Ball trap that has everything. Anyway, uh, Saganji has really been impressing me with his um, really good positioning and control this entire series. Yeah. And uh, he's very, very close That's to closing it out, man. One game away. He could. From winning a spot code S, but Marine King not to be underestimated. Yeah, you can't count Marine King out yet at all. I mean, we've never been talking out, a lot man. about Ganji, but the reason we've been talking so much about Slayer's Ganji is that it's so surprising that uh, Marine King hasn't performed better. I mean, I've said it before on different casts where Marine King has kind of been scraping through through all of his matches. He's like been barely beating this person, yeah. barely beating this person. I'm honestly, as much as I like Marine King, I'm a bit surprised that he got to the finals. I honestly am. Um, I am as well. So, in that light, well, you know, and the thing is, that, and the thing yeah. is, is he's actually picked that game up. This, I, I feel like this series, he hasn't been as, as sloppy as he has been in the last yeah, few series. He's playing better today than we've seen him play yet. And that SCV is hiding in the bushes. Why is it hiding in its own base? It's just lazy SCV mole trap. <laughs> I don't know, man. Work. Maybe he wanted to see if a Reaper was going to hop up that spot or something like that, but there's Maybe. in fact a Hellion moving across the map for Gun um, Green King instead. He's like, I don't want to be the SCV that goes to the enemy base and build bunkers. Don't make me do that. So Marine King this time going for the Hellion and Ganji going for early bio. And those Marines are in move command, not anymore. But 
this early attack might do some damage. Look at how much Ganji is switching things up to a small Marine Marauder attack yeah. now. And there's not a lot that Marine can, can do to save this reactor. There too. is absolutely Jack he can do right now. The bunker going yeah. up as well. He's really going to try and contain him again. Man. And Ganji the Hellion comes out. Over. Bunker canceled. Nicely yeah. done by Marine King. And look at this, more Actually, forces for Ganji. Oh, big Hellion hit, roasting three Marines there. Oh, I don't know why he didn't pursue there. There's like three Marines that would have died to one more Hellion hit. Yeah, Ganji does need to pull back, um, and Marine King knows it. But at the same time, I mean, oh, maybe two. Just, this is just such a crazy series. I don't know. Uh, one, one lesson to take from this is that it is really dangerous to build add-ons on your barracks at your choke there on that top position on this map. Yeah. Um, we've seen players lose their add-ons before like this. In uh, Lenok versus Maka, the same thing happened. The Maka spawned at the top position. Well, I mean, we did see Ganji go for a two barracks with one of them having a reactor. Kind of a rush there. Yeah. So, not much. While he was teching, there was not much Marine King could do to stop that out on going down as well. Yeah, I mean, Ganji is really just showcasing to us for a, showcasing for us just all his styles. I mean, this guy just has so many openings. He's so good at basically everything. It's really tough. Tough for oh. anyone to right now. Nice. Ganji moving in for a little bit of an attack, but Marine King with the medevac yeah. and a little bit better positioning. Well, like I said, about even positioning, but it's just too many forces. Oh, well, Ganji may have gotten back. a little bit too too aggressive this game. Yeah, again, he you know, he had a lot of injured Marines. That Hellion doing so much damage to his yep. Marine count. Oh. Oh. oh, nice. He does get that Hellion, but Marine King's going to chase him all the way back to his base. Green King is also getting Siege Mode much earlier as well. And that's kind of a scary Bioforce. Green King needs to be pretty careful here. Here he goes. Oh, no. And now Marine King is in a lot of trouble. Oh, but that medevac is certainly helping quite a bit at least. Making things a lot more even than you would think they normally would be. But eventually the medevac cannot oh. hold things off quite well enough by itself. He loses the Banshee very early on in that battle due to lack of control. And that was yeah. actually huge if he'd done a little bit better with that Banshee. Could have really taken that fight, but instead Marine King forced to fall back. You know, it's, I feel like we've gotten to like the last round of a boxing match where the players are both just like dazed and just swinging at each other, trading punches. Ganji's got, Marine King's got like blood in his eye. And That's right. Doesn't even care. His face is all swollen. It's looking like July Zerg now. This man, it's like really dangerous. It's dangerous to go that long in a fight. This guy's gonna get hurt, man. That sounds like a movie quote that I don't know. Is that? Is that the case? No, if uh, if we make a movie together, though, you can use it. All right, sweet. We'll make a movie. Uh, Marine King is now pushing in with Siege Mode, and that is actually going to be huge because I don't know if Gandhi has much to deal with Siege tanks. He's uh, gone all bio this game. He's uh -huh. gotten a couple medevacs out. He's getting a Viking. Yeah, I mean, he has some early initial success, but... Oh, he could go for a kind of a large drop, dude. This could do some damage. We could actually be in for a little bit more of a, a base race situation. Yeah, he's going to lose that barracks, but yep. he's not doing anything. He actually has no. He brings his forces back, actually. Oh, he did. Ooh. That actually, you know, you got to be decisive. Yeah, and with cloak finishing pretty soon, if Green King keeps these banshees alive, which he needs to do. Oh boy. Wow, nice control with that Viking. Yep. Trying to get as many hits on those medevacs and as he can. It looks like here we go. Oh. SCV's off the line. Ganji needs to make this attack work to win the game. Ganji desperately trying to hold things off. He's sending everything in here. Killing off tons of stuff. The SCV is really making a nice little block there. Ganji having waited for Stim, I think, is barely, barely going to push this back. But here's the thing. Yeah. Ganji lost all but a dozen SCVs in that battle. Marine King is sitting on top of 34 of those suckers. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. Marine King, he's like that old guy in the Monty Python movie. He's like, I'm not quite dead yet. <laughs> Certainly not. That mule is I going think for a walk. For a walk. The mule's going for a walk, man. But, uh, yeah. I don't know where that mule's going. What is that? Huh? I'm so confused. By what? There was, I don't know, when a Ganji's mules just oh. rebelled and moved across the map to the Zelnaga Tower. Well, couldn't get back to the minerals in time, maybe. Yes, I no. And Ganji is going to go in for a little bit of a drop. After all, this is a little bit... I don't think this is going to do a whole lot. This is a little bit desperate, actually, is basically he's like, all right, got to do something. 
but he's just gonna lose all of that, I believe. And the medevac getting low on health. Looks like it might escape for the moment, but... Oh and no, look at this. Banshees. Yeah, I mean, once Quug finished, Marine King can start doing some serious damage. Ganji oh already God. so low on SCVs. I think we might just see a GG here pretty soon. He's actually not that. even building that turret. He stopped throwing SCVs on it, but he yeah. loses every single SCV. GG! Coming from Ganji! Wow. Marine King! Marine King's still in it, fighting man. Fighting his way back into it. He's still in it. Ganji went for a pretty risky opening. You can see the relief on Marine King's face. He doesn't want to lose in the finals. He wants to come in first place in some GSL event. Yep. And uh, there's Ganji. He's That's still up a game, though. He's still yeah. in really good position. And a little bit of a role reversal there in that game we had Ganji going for Mass Bio, and yeah. we actually had Marine King sieging up on his base with the early siege mode instead. It was so an very interesting. interesting. Choice. It was an interesting choice by Slayer's Ganji because of you know just how badly it had gone, you know initially too. Yeah. I think uh, I think Ganji definitely wasn't expecting him to go you know mech right away to go ahead and go for that Marine tank mix right away. If he had gone you know the openings he'd been going the earlier games, that uh, two barracks opening would have done a lot of damage. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, kind of a gamble by Slayer's Ganji. Didn't quite work out, and Marine King's back in it suddenly. Yeah, and Marine King, of course, going for that early Hellion really helped as well. Really helped. Mm -hmm. He lost his uh, reactor, but then that Hellion was able to do so much damage to the stacked Marines yeah. of Ganji that the Hellion was basically able to make him single-handedly help him f force that back and force an advantage and force uh, Ganji all the way back into his base, which is, of course, when he was able to siege up. Mm -hmm. there and uh, so very nicely done by Marine King using those Hellions using the Banshee follow-up as well again Ganji just wasn't prepared for the Banshee because he gone for such heavy bio he didn't have any tech he didn't couldn't get that Viking out early enough yeah well we are gonna go on to game six now because of that and game six is going to be on Terminus Re and that's gonna be a really interesting map for these guys because yeah. it's gonna force Marine King to uh, to macro mm -hmm. up um, well, I suppose, you know, one of them could cheese, obviously, but most likely it's going to turn into a, a little bit longer game. And I feel like that favors Ganji to a certain extent right now. Um, it's, again, you know, not one of those maps that you can really get the nice big surrounds with bio on. Yeah. There's some open spots in the middle, but in, in part I think it's a better, map, a better map for mech. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Suddenly a hard sentence. Yeah, definitely. Now, it is a very large map, though, so mobility can be a good thing on this map. We're going to find out, though. Yeah. Ganji is one game away, one game away from clinching Kodas status, winning Kodai. Marine King really has to win this match. We're going to find out in mere moments who is going to take game six, if Ganji is going to win it and go over and walk over and claim that medallion, hold it in the air triumphantly, or if Marine King is still going to be in this match. We're going to find out here in just a minute on Terminus Re. Let's get into the game. Looking to jump into the game.